beauty photography is all about beauty. It's about the gorgeousness of a woman or a man, whoever you're photographing, and really taking that and capturing it in an image. Most photographers who are shooting beauty are really trying to emphasize things like lipstick, things like eyeshadow, but it's more than that. Now, as a photographer, I can showcase those and use those to my advantage to photograph whatever I want, but I'm using a combination of those different elements to take that final image. So as an example, if I'm shooting a portrait of a woman with beautiful makeup, I can showcase things if I'm using something like an XF body to focus on just the eyeball or focus on just the lips depending on what I'm trying to photograph because I have so much detail and resolution with that camera. Now what I want you to realize is shooting something like medium format allows you a great amount of flexibility as a photographer. It allows you to crop into areas that you wouldn't necessarily get a chance to with a 35mm sensor. Now shooting something like a 100 megapixel camera sounds astronomical, but it's purposeful. Now everything that I do on set is purposeful and today we're going to be talking about workflow and I want to give you guys every single bit of that. So my workflow for beauty is fairly simple. I'm tethering directly into a computer. I'm backing up those files either onto a physical hard drive or an external drive depending on the client that I have. All the images are shown on a color reference monitor, specifically an ASO monitor that I'm working on set. And then from there I make sure that all those photos are edited and they're delivered either physically or digitally depending on what I'm trying to produce. Generally for magazines, it's still going to be digitally for a physical print. I never actually get a chance to touch said print. For advertising, it's usually the same thing. Now when I'm photographing anything, my workflow not only dictates the way that I work, but also how my team works on set. And that's something that's important for you to remember as a photographer. Every single person on set should understand what you're doing. As the photographer, you're also the director. You direct the creative vision of the overall set. So even though my makeup artist comes with some amazing different ideas that she comes to the table with, I still have to show her how those look on camera. I allow my team to try new things. But having a crucial workflow is how they're able to keep their sanity as well. It's how we're able to keep our work in sync with one another. So she can see every single time she makes a beautiful line what that looks like. Or if the line isn't so perfect, she can make those corrections on set as well. So as a photographer, tethering allows me to do multiple things on set. The first thing that it allows me to do is have a redundant copy of everything that I'm photographing on set. I have a backup of every single file that comes out of my camera. Instead of just relying on a CF card or SD card if you're shooting on a 35mm format, everything is backed up to a physical drive, either that being the drive of my computer or an external drive. Now, the second thing that it does, it allows my creative team to be part of the process. They're not standing behind me looking at the back of the camera, rather they're looking at a physical screen. They're seeing a larger screen for everything that we're photographing. They see the extra detail. They see the extra areas that they need to go ahead and change. So as an example, if my makeup artist is working on set, and she does an amazing job at makeup. But if there's some small nuance of change that she wants to see based off that larger screen, she's able to do that. If the hairstylist sees something out of place, she can make that distinction off of a larger screen compared to something like the back of the camera. All of these different, uh, all of these different options is one of the reasons that I tether. Color representation, color accuracy, all of those are infinitely important when you're shooting something like fashion. Color is one of the most important aspects of shooting something like beauty. You want every single image to accurately depict the color that you're representing. As an instance, if you're, uh, if you're a client, you're shooting something for makeup, and that makeup is being displayed at local retail stores, and somebody buys said makeup, and the color is completely different than what you photographed, they're not going to be happy. And this is when it's important to remember that you're shooting commercial photography. You're shooting to sell a product. So it needs to be accurately represented in what you photograph. So color representation and color management is important. Now when I'm photographing on something like an ASO monitor, everything that I'm photographing is extremely accurate. I can see it as it's being displayed the same way that it's going to come out in print, which allows me to better understand my workflow. It allows my team to make better decisions in, in regards to uh, choosing certain colors, in regards to shoot, uh, choosing certain tones. All of that is important while my team is working on set. One of the most crucial aspects that most photographers forget about Capture One is the skin tone curve within the color tone module, which is an amazing tool for you to use to start changing uh, skin tones. If you want to change skin tones, if you want to have better consistency and luminosity, if you want to have just better 
uh, gradation between different color variations in the skin. It allows you to work on skin so well. Even prior to retouching, this is one of the best tools that I use to make sure that everything looks amazing on set. One of the reasons that I love working with companies like Digital Transitions is because it allows me greater flexibility in my budget, it allows me greater flexibility in rentals. Now, what most photographers don't realize is that you have a budget, you have a designated thing that you have to stay within, and justifying a large purchase, like shooting something like medium format, isn't in everybody's budget. If it is, I'm happy for you. There's, there's a solution for you. Digital Transitions has sales products for those specific products. But also they have a great rental program. So if you can't afford to buy something outright, you can go ahead and rent those. They also have great leasing programs in the event you want to go ahead and lease something. They also have great purchasing programs in the event you just don't have that, that number in your bank account yet. There are definitely options for you as a photographer if you want to use the right tools. I want to make sure to have a consistent process and the workflow is what keeps me on par with that. So when you're shooting beauty photography, make sure that you, you have a standard workflow that you're keeping so your team can work with you. Remember, this isn't just you being a photographer. It's an effort of a whole team coming together as a creative team to have a collaborative staff.